Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today is the 4th of February 2014. This is your video blog of the day. It's more like I'm in your house now, huh? It's a lot more private. I'm having a conversation with someone, and maybe it's you. I want to talk to you about a subject, okay, that's been <clears throat> the cause of holding you back. You've been holding yourself back. You know when you go through life, have you ever experienced this? You go through life and you feel like that, like you have the emergency brakes on. Okay, you know when you drive, if you have the emergency brake on, the, the car doesn't drive as good, right? People are going through life, and it's like they have the emergency brake on. They're not going at the speed they should go, right? You may have felt this in your life. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but one, one of them that I want to touch on today, because it's a very important subject, it's something that, you know, uh, I've already, what time is it here? It's like 12.43 p.m. on Tuesday. I've already dealt with a few different people and something that I see keep coming up. It's the idea of rejection, okay? Social rejection. No matter who you are, you're dealing with the subject of social rejection, okay? Not being accepted by uh, someone or not being accepted by a group or not being accepted by um, in, a, in a relationship, in a job or something, right? Social rejection. And although, although people may act like they don't care, they oh, I don't care what people think, that's not true, okay? That's just not true. You need to be a little bit more honest with yourself. And when it comes to the subject of social dynamics, how humans interact with each other, how men and women relate to each other, men and men, women and women, on that subject, I happen to be one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world. That is my subject, okay? So I want to give you some uh, pointers on how to and deal with this issue of rejection. There's a lot of different ways. Whoa, my face gets so close like that. There's a lot of different ways that you could deal with the subject of rejection. Um, you could not care. You could, like, um, manipulate the environment so that it goes in your way. I have, I have a whole different view on this thing, okay? We have to do what we do in all these videos. We have to have insight. We have to go right into the subject, and we have to dissect it by looking at it closely. We have to look at it and go, what is this fucking thing? First of all, first of all, let's get the genetic background of this thing, okay? Genetically, your body is from the old tribal days. If you were rejected in a small tribe of about 30 people, they used to live together. Which, if you were rejected from the tribe, you wouldn't get food, you wouldn't get protection, you wouldn't get shelter, you wouldn't have sex. So genetically, the body is designed to be fearful of rejection, of course. So that means that you're going to deal with the human machine or the human animal, which is the body. You're going to deal with a natural reaction that it has. It has a natural reaction that it kicks in when it feels like it's about to reject it, okay? Got that? That's the first thing that needs to be acknowledged. It's like, basically you could say that in some case, when it comes to the physical universe, it's a natural phenomenon that you will feel a negative emotion if you feel like you're about to be rejected. So that's given. That's given. It's not anything that. It's not anything that is um, cause for concern because it's a survival mechanism. Back in the days, you wanted to be accepted by the group because if you were accepted, you had protection and food and shelter and all that shit, right? But we've evolved, right? We've evolved and we come forward in time. And then there is that, and then there is you. There's you as a spiritual being. There's you understanding a lot more than just having some uh, genetic reaction to something. Oh, I feel nervous because I don't want to be rejected, okay? First of all, let's get a little deeper into the subject. There are many things that you would like to do. There are many things that you'd like to uh, embark on. There's many activities you like to... Um, many journeys in life you like to take. Many things you like to do. Many, many activities you like to um, partake in. I like those words, partake. And... Um, the fear of rejection prevents the action from even ever starting. So a lot of people won't even start. They won't even start because they're afraid. Let's say we're talking about IMC Academy, right? IMC Academy. A lot of people are intimidated before they walk into my academy. Uh, I'll give you an example. Many women think they have to already look good before they walk into the academy. That's completely false. It's completely wrong. It has nothing to do... It, I don't know where they're getting that idea from. I kind of have an idea where they're getting that idea from, but it's a misunderstanding, Okay. So the fear of being rejected, the fear of not being accepted will prevent them from ever benefiting. So they get this idea that I need to, I need to be in shape before I go there and be in shape. <laughs> Stupid. Okay? The fear of learning how to defend yourself. Like, I don't want to go over there and look like an idiot. I don't know how to fight. Well, that's why you go learn. 
That's what you go learn, okay? So the fear of rejection will prevent a person from actually um, doing what they need to do to improve. Like a person wants to go to the gym. They don't want to be made fun of because they're fat and nasty right now. They haven't hit the gym in 10 years, 12 years. So they don't want to look stupid. So they never go. So rejection or a person wants to ask for a raise or ask for whatever, right? Somebody just messaged me on Facebook. I haven't talked to her in a while. And she said, hey, I'm in no position to ask. And then she went ahead and asked for some favor. And I was thinking about it. I was like, well, actually you are in a position to ask because you just asked. You see, I'm in no position to ask. Of course you're in a position to ask. Asking doesn't take anything. just takes asking. What you're afraid of is rejection. So I admire the courage of someone who just says, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it. Okay? That's the first step in, that's the first step in dealing with rejection is what I just said. Let's go back to the sentence. I said, I admire the courage of the person who goes for it regardless of, of the idea that they might get rejected. So first you have to start to understand that you can admire and it's very admirable, very admirable to just do what you need to do knowing that rejection is a factor. Knowing that you might actually end up having to deal with other human beings who won't accept you. And the fact of knowing that and knowing, knowing that it could still be a negative emotion and you still go for it, it's admirable, isn't it? That's admirable, isn't it? First step is you have to understand how powerful admiration is. Admiration is one of the most powerful forces on the planet. Very, very powerful. So you have to, it, it, it's very powerful for the mind. You have to admire. Have you ever admired somebody? Have you ever felt admired by somebody? You know that feeling you get, admiration? It's very powerful. So the first thing you have to do is you have to learn to admire yourself when you override the system and you go, I know that there may be rejection. I know that there may some, I might not feel good afterwards if I get rejected. However, I admire the fact that I still do what I need to do regardless of, of yes or no at the end. Because I know what? Which comes to the second point. I know it's the right thing to do. Now look, I'm not going to go do a bunch of shit that I might get rejected if it's not important. If it's not important, just why? Just so I can show that I don't care about being rejected? How lame is that shit? There are things that I need to do. While I'm here, in this form, I need to do certain things. Those things are very important to me. Third point. Rejection is not a factor. Whether other individuals accept or reject what I need to do, I still need to do what I need to do. Now, this is where you have to get in touch with this part of you. This is why I say you should have a purpose in life, right? A purpose is very different than having some kind of a, a job or because I have to. Listen, you don't have to do shit, okay? You choose to. There's a difference. You don't have to do shit. You choose to. Take some responsibility. So when you have a passion, when you have a purpose in life, then what happens is your passion and your purpose is much more important than the small negative reaction of a rejection. Understood? Think about this again. See, if you're lacking purpose, if you're lacking passion in life, then the rejection is very big because there's nothing driving the machine. There's nothing, there's no horsepower behind it. But when you have a purpose, have you ever been in front of a person who has a purpose in life? Like truly has a purpose in life. There's a different presence about this person, right? You have people who lack purpose and whatever. Ordinary. And then a person shows up with a purpose. They're doing something. Listen, you can't buy them with money. You can't buy them with, a pra with praise. You can't buy them with shit. You can't buy them. Why? Because they are doing something that they feel is their purpose in life. They feel that they, were, they are um, they're on a journey or on a path to do something that's more important than any praise someone gives or any rejection. You see, now, the fourth... Um, what is it called? The fourth point of this thing is that if you don't want to be rejected, then also praise is the other side of it. There are two sides of the same coin. Now I know there's a coin floating around somewhere around here. There it is. Here's a coin. Whoa, where's the camera? Here's a coin. One side is going to be praise. One side is going to be rejection. And you flip the coin. And one time it comes up praise. And then you flip it again. It's praise again. Eventually, you're going to get rejected. 
but the same thing. While well, you keep flipping it, rejection, 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 eventually praise comes up. See, what you're missing is you think they're two separate things. You think that praise and rejection are two separate things. So we're going to go to an alchemy law, which is the two polar opposites Everything on on the planet, everything in the physical universe goes between two poles: hot and cold, up and down, sound and silence, man and woman, night and dar- uh, light and darkness. Right? Rejection and acceptance are the same coin. You could be there's levels of it. You could be more rejected, kind of rejected, totally rejected, even more than that rejected. You could be accepted, more accepted, more accepted, more accepted. Right? Your task as a communicator is to figure out a way to communicate your ideas so that your ideas are more accepted. There will never be 100% accepted. It's impossible. That condition does not exist. They will be more and more and more accepted. So maybe today you had 10 points of rejection and 2 points of acceptance. Tomorrow you're going to go for 3 points of acceptance, 9 points of rejection. That becomes the game. That becomes the temperature control of the polar opposites. When can you tell when it's getting hot or cold? What... Where is it? Where's hot? Where's cold? It's all relative, isn't it? It's hot right now? Well, is it hot or is it cold? Depends. Where is the temperature? Where does hot begin? Where does cold begin? When the thermometer turns blue, that's cold. Come on now, in relative terms. If you end up in the North Pole and it's 20 degrees above Celsius or Fahrenheit, whatever the fuck it is, 20 degrees above zero, that's warm over there. If you're in San Jose, California, 20 degrees, whoa, you're freezing your ass off. There's a big fucking difference, right? So you got to understand that rejection and approval are the same coin. They're not separate. So if you're, if you're seeking approval, if you're like, I, I need people to approve me, need, then you are setting yourself up, bam, to, be, to have a major heartache when there's a rejection. Let me give you another example from a field that's very familiar to me. What about if you're going to go try to talk to a woman, okay? If you're a man trying to talk to a woman, listen. If it's obvious that you're seeking her approval, you're trying to get her to like you, you're losing points very quickly. Isn't that true, ladies? Isn't that true? What about if a guy comes around and he doesn't really give a shit whether you approve of him or not? He's just being himself. He's doing what he loves to do. He's fun. He's playful. He's energetic. You could see that he has a lot of value. He has status in life, but he could give a shit whether you approve of him or not. You're not going to make or break him. How much more attractive is this person? Think about it, right? It's the same thing. Now, in that case, we could see it very clearly. But you may not see it that in taking on an activity or inventing something or putting out your communication or making a music or, or drawing something or writing something or God, I don't know, changing your hairstyle or changing the color of it or whatever the fuck you want to do. That the idea of rejection may possibly be stopping you from taking action, okay? Because one of the reasons why, one of the reasons why people don't move forward is because they're afraid of rejection. This is such a big deal. This is such a big deal that the moment you decide to do something important in life, all your family and all your friends, and I know that's a general statement. Sometimes you have people that support you. Very rare if you do, but mostly. You decide to make a change. You decide to do something. What's the first thing you get? You get the rejection, and you get a scare of rejection. People will say, well, what if... You can't do that. What if people blah, blah, blah. What if people that? You can't. What if people that? What if people that? They're scaring you saying, listen, you might get rejected. You might get rejected. You might not make it. Bitch, please. Okay? That's where you need to be with this thing. Okay? In your mind, you got to be thinking, bitch, please. I'm supposed to be afraid of rejection now. All right? So now let's get into my frame of mind. So you could use it for power when you move forward. Okay? Does a Rosh motherfucking D-Bazaar worry about rejection? Listen, I don't like the feeling of it. I don't like the feeling of it. Just like any other human being, rejection doesn't feel good to my system. Okay? Cool. Got it? Right after that, so what? Does it prevent me from moving forward? Fuck no. Fuck no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Since when did you become so small that another person's opinion made, made or break your fu- made or break, ma- makes or breaks your day? Since when did you get so fucking tiny that another human being's opinion will make or break you? Come on now, snap out of it. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Think about it for a second. See, the problem is you're not in love with what you do. You're not in love with yourself and you're not in love with your passions and you're not, you don't believe in you. You don't believe in your vision. You don't believe in what you're doing. So you try to get other people to believe in you that just in case they believe in you, you might believe in yourself. Listen to the statement once again, God damn it, because I just gave you a fucking secret of life. 
you don't truly believe in what you're thinking and saying and doing. You don't believe in your own vision. You don't believe in who you are. You don't love yourself enough so that you need somebody else to do it so that if they do it, it may give you the feeling that you need so that then you believe in yourself more. That's some backwards ass shit, isn't it? Maybe you didn't think about it before. Or maybe you thought just because all the fucking monkeys and baboons do it that you're supposed to do it too. I'm here to tell you differently, okay? That's wrong. That's wrong. Why is my dog barking right now? Hey, I'm doing a video blog. That's incorrect. Okay? The correct, the correct thing is you need to recognize rejection is there, so is acceptance. It's part of the game. Your job as a master communicator is to learn to communicate your ideas in a way that are accepted by the right people. Now, you don't want the wrong people accepting your idea. I'm not looking for evil people to watch my videos and be like, he's right, and then go out and do some evil shit. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I need evil people to watch my shit and turn it off and be like, oh, fuck him. Well, fuck you. How's that? Fuck you. There's a big difference. So it's not a matter of other people believing you. It's not a matter of other people accepting and rejecting you. We go back to the original teaching, okay? Which is you have to accept your own ideas. You have to accept your own vision. You have to be totally 100%. Got that? Not 99%. That 1% will weaken you. You have to be 100% certain of what you're doing. No doubts. Then when rejection comes, yeah, it doesn't feel good. Big deal. It's like tasting something bitter for a second. But the taste goes away. In fact, the taste goes away quickly once you know what it is you're doing. Because then what do you do? You put your attention on what you were doing and the purpose of what you were doing. That's kind of like you tasted something nasty. Then you go grab the food that you like. And listen to this. Somebody is always going to reject you. Welcome to life. What is everyone supposed to fucking accept you? Come on now. Let's get real. Let's get real. So if you're afraid of rejection, mm -mm. you had it all backwards, man. Rejection is not even a factor in it. It doesn't matter. Who gives a shit? Aren't you doing the right thing? Listen, are you doing the right thing or not? Do you believe in what you're doing? Do you truly believe in what you're doing? Are you a good person? Then why do you give a shit? Hey, Sphinx, who's out there? Sphinx is growling and barking. Nobody? All right. Oh, I hear it. Okay. So, let's look at this again. Recap. All right? It's the fear of rejection that prevents a person from ever taking a first step. If you want to get something going, you need to take the step, then the next step, then the next step. Okay? Do yourself a favor, and as soon as you can, recognize that rejection is part of the game. Recognize it does have a bad taste, a bad flavor, but you move on. And how do you move on? Not by keep tasting the fucking thing. You don't keep running the rejection in your head. You start focusing on what you're doing. You start focusing on your purpose. Man, it's such a big deal having a purpose in life. It's such a big deal having a passion and knowing you're going after your goals and dreams. It's such a big deal because the flavor of what I said right now, the taste of what I said is so sweet to your soul, man. You don't even know. Or maybe you do. But the secret is to go in that direction. In, in the direction of your goals and dreams and purposes, every time rejection comes up, it'll just like, you'll melt through. You'll melt it. Okay? This is a secret to the power of the mind. Okay? Welcome to our art form. Welcome to the magic that I'm teaching you. Okay? You can melt through the vibrations of this universe. This universe is a universe of vibrations. It's very easy once you understand these basic laws. Okay? You can go right through, right through whatever comes your way. Nothing, nothing, and I mean nothing can touch you if you understand what I'm saying. Okay? Put your attention on your purpose. Put your attention on your goals. Fuck rejection. I have an idea. Why don't you reject rejection? It's not a big deal. Overall, the more you try to defend yourself, the weaker you get. One more time, listen to the art of war when it comes on another level. The more you try to defend yourself, the weaker you get. The less you need to defend yourself, the less you need to defend yourself, the more you just know that you are on the right path, you're doing your thing, the, the weaker the opposition gets. Eventually, they just become like a tiny little pebble hitting what? A huge mountain. If you throw a pebble at Mount Everest, Mount Everest wouldn't even feel it. In fact, the pebble would become part of the mountain, okay? This is where your path is. This is where you need to be. Understand? Okay? Go through your day. When you feel rejection come up, everybody deals with it. But it's not, it's not a signal to stop. It's a signal to go, oh, okay, now I got to take a look to see, do I really believe in me? Why do I need the other person's approval so bad? So bad. Since when did they become more important than my own decision? Since